Hello, I'm here with uh, Giacomo Harvey in San Diego at Sony's Motion Capture Studio. And uh, I wanted to put together a little behind the scenes thing uh, for Killing Floor 2. Uh, we've just gotten done with a five day shoot uh, on the exciting Killing Floor 2 project. <laughs> and uh, we definitely crushed him pretty bad. And uh, this is our second one. So in total we've done eight days. And uh, we're gonna have one more, uh, probably the beginning of next year. And uh, this little, little little snippet you guys can see to get you excited uh, for the game next year and uh, see what we were uh, up to. So, uh, so I mean, as you know, you know, uh, in uh, Killing Floor 2, we wanted to take all the creatures to the next level. Yeah. And, uh, we, you know, we have 12 very diverse creatures. Yeah. Like, which one did you, you know, or ones did you find the most interesting or, or engaging? Cool, Plumbing, that's a difficult question. They're all fascinating individuals. I think the clock was the most uh, interesting and engaging because it was three different versions of the same sort of clone character. Similar sort of... Uh, I guess features, but um, very different language. You got one who's like the alpha, yeah. you know, and you got another one that's like a crazed crackhead psychopath, yeah. and then another one that's like a child yeah. that can rip your arms off. Yeah, so I basically took my childhood, my teenage years, and my adult years and sort of smashed them together and, and, and uh, found those three distinct individuals from my own yeah. rabid, crazy, blood-lusting experience. Yeah. <laughs> The crawler, the crawler was great fun too. Yeah. Um, I think most of my inspiration for, for the creatures like the crawler and so forth came from the animal kingdom. The peacock spider was a big inspiration Check for it the out. crawler. Yeah, and I and I have to say, don't get don't get me wrong, um, I'm quite comfortable with my masculinity, but I did kind of enjoy playing the ladies a little bit too. The siren. And <laughs> yeah, the, he did uh, play the stalker. The siren and the He's stalker. Been all the creatures. <laughs> but don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or else. Yeah, the uh, the stalker turned out really cool. I really like the the moves you did. Yeah. You know, one really interesting thing that we did is, you know, we kind of planned out what we wanted and we had a vibe from the first game, but we really tried to develop uh, the creatures to take them farther. And Giacomo, we just let him run with it, and he just like took everything to the next level. And we did very every you know very free form experimenting, see what worked really well, and. Uh, I think I think the fans, you guys, are really, really going to dig uh, what we've done with the uh, the creatures. It has a really unique feel yeah. and style to it. So, wh which which character did did you find the the most challenging to play? I think the the bloat was probably the most challenging because it had some real uh, some sort of real constraints on the character. You know, um, uh, legitimate constraints like um, the weight. He was a huge character and and there are certain limitations, I, I would imagine, when you're carrying around that much weight, which I had to be very careful of. Uh, whereas the other, the crawler and the, uh, you know, the siren and and so forth, uh, the, there's there's sort of no precedent. But the bloat, there's a kind of a, a realistic precedent that we had to kind of hone in right. on. It's hard to be dangerous and, and cumbersome at the same time, right, especially right. when you got used to playing agile freaks like the clot. Yeah, I think it probably took us 20 minutes to sort of hone in on it. Yeah, with, yeah. With, with a bit of uh, Bill and Bert waddling around the volume yeah, I'm too. I'm a little bit better is, at pulling the natural bloat off than, than Jack McHood. Which I cannot <laughs> applaud them enough for doing because it yeah. just it, it inspires and motivates me. I'm, you know, yeah. I, Maybe you, someday we'll, we'll put out some of the videos that, yeah. you know, that Bert, myself, <laughs> and, and Justin has, has done. I think the folks at home would get a kick out of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I will. I wouldn't have been able to do a lot of this, work, a lot of this creature work if not for the reference videos that, that Bill and Bert yes. sent me ahead of time. Thank you very much for taking the time to do it, and I just want to say it's been, a, it's been an honor working with you, man, and we're so you, lucky to have had you working on this project. I and, can't uh, thank you enough, mate. I think you guys are going to see just how awesome uh, how awesome everything feels with the uh, the creatures, and a uh, big part of that is this man here, Giacomo Harvey. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to play the game. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Can we time travel? I know, right? <laughs> All right, well, stay thank tuned, you, and uh, see you next year. Under my scientific leadership, Horzine has achieved unparalleled success and has trusted the world over. We are driving the renaissance of science. We lead...